It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's a bottle of their Black Eyed King Imp Whiskey Cask Aged Coffee and Chocolate Imperial Stout coming in at 11.8% ABV. There's the bottle cap. This beer has been aged for two years, believe it or not. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. There's the bottle cap. Beer pouring out there. Oh, look at that glug. Look at the way that head developed on the beer. But I tell you what I have noticed about these whiskey cascade imperial stouts is that the head does like to develop nicely. You've got that lovely creamy tan coloured head but then it dissipates very quickly and that has got a lot to do with the alcohol, a lot to do with that draw from that whiskey cask, drawing the beer, drawing all that whiskey into the beer. And it's, it's very difficult then for the beer to develop a big, kind of nice, consistent, creamy head. But just through talking here, the aroma, I can pick up lots of chocolate, lots of coffee, lots of caramel. Oh, it smells so smooth. An amazing, amazing, almost calming whiskey taste. Aroma, should I say? Cacao nibs, cocoa nibs, lots of licorice, lots of aniseed, lots of coffee. It's woody with that lovely whiskey aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers. And that is quite remarkable. It's eleven point eight percent ABV. There you go. And what strikes me straight away is just how drinkable this beer is. A beer at eleven point eight percent ABV. Well, saying that, I suppose there's two angles you could look at this. If it was brought up. 11.8% ABV just through the malt alone then I think it would have a lot more of a creamy big juicy kind of chunky chocolatey mouthfeel but because it's an imperial stout aged in whiskey casks it's drawn that whiskey out of the cask and the alcohol level has gone up naturally that way so the beer is a lot thinner it's a lot more drinkable it's a lot more it's difficult to say refreshing but it's not as gloopy, it's not as big and thick and kind of sludgy. Personally, I like my Imperial Stouts like that. Um, if I was to make a choice, I would prefer that big, chunky, thick, mouth-coating mouthfeel. But the flavours are absolutely unbelievable in this beer. It just keeps going on and on. There's vanilla, there's chocolate, there's aniseed, there's licorice. There's your chocolate, your coffee and your caramel. There's a nice sweetness to the beer. Of course you've got that woodiness in the beer, you've got that oakiness in the beer. Of course you've got that whiskey. There's lots of raisin. It's a vinous.
very good. It's very good. It goes on to say on the label, if you wanted to read the label, that the beer has been aged for two years. So, so if it was in dog's years, it'd be even longer. Uh, they've been waiting like an eternity for this beer to come out. Let's move on to a slightly uh, touchy subject. Uh, a lot of YouTubers don't like to talk about it, and that is money. Um, I paid, if I was to drink this in the Brewdog Bar in Cardiff, it would have cost me £18 per bottle for a 330 Because I took it away, I had a 15% discount, so it probably cost me somewhere in the region of 15 to 16 pounds would i buy it again would i spend the money again uh, apparently it's james watts favorite imperial style uh, that, that he's brewed mm, i'm not that sure i'm not that sure if it's James Watt's favourite Imperial Stout, if I'm honest. Um, it's very good. There's an awful lot going on. There's lots of flavour. But I just think we're, and this is for me personally, where it breaks down a little bit is that mouthfeel. I love an Imperial Stout. A big, thick, creamy luxurious style imperial style and this is just not it this is well you can see rocking the beer back and forth that looks like well it looks very thin doesn't it the head dissipated very quickly no lacing on the glass that you might expect from an imperial style and yeah it's just it's just a bit too thin for my liking So the answer then, with me paying between 15 and 16 pounds a bottle, is that no, um, I wouldn't buy it again. And to be perfectly honest, I think I'd be a little bit upset if I paid any more than seven pounds for a bottle of this. Uh, it's just not up there. For me, it's just not hitting them heights of Brewdog beers. Now don't get me wrong, I've had some amazing Brewdog beers. I've had uh, their wine barrel aged uh, beer at Christmas time, the barley wine. It was absolutely phenomenal, really good beer. Uh, something anarchy, can't quite remember the name of it. Uh, we've had some The Clown King from with Oscar, uh, sorry, The Clown King. Uh, we, we've had the Oscar Blues beer, the something circus beer that was very good this is i'll run through them flavors again it's a lot going on the whiskey the oak the chocolate the coffee the caramel the raisin it's got everything. It's got everything an Imperial Stout, a very, very good Imperial Stout should have. Raisin, it's vinous. But it's too drinkable. It's too thin for my liking. So I'm going to give it... It's still going to get a very high 8 out of 10. I'm not... The, the flavours are there. It's just for me, the mouthfeel is not there. And, and that is a big shame. It's a big shame. 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. And cheers.